as a driver, what's what's this thing? What's, what's this like, and how, and how is it different from uh, from your regular supercar? <laughs> what is different? Well, there are actually a couple of things. When I drove now uh, the two laps, I've spoken with my my colleague, and it's really amazing how the car turns in. I have never had or driven a road car which turns in like this. That first thing. The second thing, which is even more amazing, is how it behaves when I break into a corner. Yeah, I mean yeah. in race driving it's normal uh, breaking into a corner, and but when you you, you start hard braking, when you turn in, you have to adapt the braking power. In this case here, you can really keep hard braking, turning in, and the car keeps stable. Right. So this is yeah. uh, amazing. So you can actually break through the corner rather than break. Exactly. Yeah. Another thing um, which is very nice uh, when you drive uh, this car is there is nearly no rolling, yeah? mm. like you felt. Mm. So that means when you have a corner and you turn in, the car is not going to the side, or if, even in a chicane or like over there in the double chicane, it's like driving with a go-kart or a formula car around it. Yeah. So it makes it so smooth driving this car, and it's much easier driving quicker with this car than with any other car. The uh, electric motors, yeah? Mm. We have uh, 350 kilogram of weight regarding the electric components. Yeah. We have an electric engine in the front, Adapt, uh, attached to the front axle, we have one in the back uh, attached to the engine. And we have a battery, sure. The battery is in the carbon monocoque compartment down here, the okay. lowest point. Yeah. And we call these electrical components, we call the underneath the car, we have a center of gravity below the wheels, like here. Okay. There's no product, road car which has that. Race cars, yes, formula cars, yes. This car is. This combined with a new technology from this car, monocoque, which is actually much stiffer than the Carrera GT one and lighter. That's the reason why you have this very controlled car, which is in, in balance totally when you go on the limits. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, a lot of people say, hey, I need 1000 horsepower and blah blah blah. I mean, horsepower is not everything, we know that. I mean, on the straight it helps a lot, <laughs> yeah, but uh, on a track like this, whatever, it's not everything about horsepower. With the electric motors, uh, the post electric motors produce uh, 245 horsepower and 350 Newton meter torque. You have it from zero. Why not? Is that is that co the combined of the two motors? Combined. Yeah. 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 This is combined. So that means when I press it, right away I have full power. When I go in a sport or race hybrid, engine is running all the time, and then the electric motors work as a boost function, and you feel that. Mm. If they're not working, you feel it. Yeah, because now I accelerate, and it helps me a lot. For example, accelerating out of a corner. Yeah. A yeah. Lot. Yeah. Because yeah, you accelerate faster, much faster. It gets and rid of that problem of being stuck in the wrong gear, ex exiting a corner. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> and we have rear axle steering. Ah. So, depending on the speed, if you go very low speed, yeah. the, the back wheels turn the same direction. Why? It's with a caterpillar, something like that. You can turn on the, yeah. on, on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. That means a higher agility yeah. in cornering, yeah? And really, the, the turning radius, mm -hmm. yeah. it's very small.